What is up everybody and welcome back to a new video. This is Minecraft Driver Edition. Um, been a lot going on, on the channel. Um, well, actually there hasn't. There hasn't been a lot of videos. Um, it's been three months since we made a video, but we are back um, with a name change. 12th console. What do you think of it? Hopefully yeah, you enjoy it. Put your comments down below. Um, but yeah, we're playing Minecraft Driver Edition. This is a very special series because it's actually Minecraft uh, for beginners. This is a Let's Play series specifically targeted at noobs. Uh, no like men meanness intended. Uh, people who are new to Minecraft, uh, beginners, and people who want to learn the ropes. Um, so yeah, this should be really fun. So we're going to call the world Minecraft for beginners. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to be going through everything in vanilla. Um, we should be like learning some stuff together because obviously I don't play vanilla a lot. So um, it should be pretty interesting. Um, and the seed, we're going to do Minecraft for beginners. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty pretty good. So, yeah, we're going to be learning stuff together. I don't often play vanilla, but we're going to be doing enchantment tables, going to the end, going to the nether, uh, doing it all in a fun kind of style. And I'm really looking forward to getting playing. I'm really looking forward to getting back into YouTube. Um, we're going to do, hopefully, three uploads a week minimum. So, uh, uh, the plan is to go for, like, Tuesday um, or Monday, sorry, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday is the goal. Um, if we can do daily, we will be doing daily. Um, but we're going to be recording a lot of episodes, and I've been playing Apex Legends so much recently, I use I'm using the wrong button. <laughs> but there we go. So, yeah, we should be um, we should be going for it really. Um, and hopefully we can get somewhere. So, uh, without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is by starting by punching some trees. You always want to start your Minecraft worlds like this, guys. Cut up your fists, uh, get dirty, and um, whack those trees uh, because this uh, they ain't going away without you doing it. So uh, yeah, there there isn't no uh, there isn't any uh, tree cutting things in vanilla Minecraft. It's all manual, guys. Get yeah, some manual labor. Uh, you're going to get fit, get hot and sweaty. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, there we go, two saplings. So, that's kind of enough to start off a little farm. I am going to take this sugar cane. Uh, that'll be useful for later on. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm so used to Apex Legends, I'm, like, jittering, which is uh, a little bit of a tactic in Apex, guys. Um, so, the first thing you want to do, generally, is, like, find a place to call home. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a goal. Um, Bubblebees. I haven't seen these ever yet. I play modded Minecraft, guys, so I don't often see the newest updates, but uh, bumblebees are a thing now, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm probably not going to call that home because the hill's not high enough. You you want to make your first like home in a hill sort of to get situated uh, and get building some stuff. So probably down here is a good shout. Um, so this will be probably where we'll make our house. Um, in fact, we won't. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna change everything I just said. I'm gonna replant this sugar cane. So just harvested it all off so we can plant as many down on the ground. So you want this to grow because we're going to need uh, gonna need some paper later on uh, for different things. So uh, it's worth planting now. We have got some iron here, which is dead useful. So I think um, I think a house there would be good. Like, I'm not really sure because uh, in a cave is always good because we've got an easy way to mining. Does this cave go down or is it just... Uh, I don't think it goes down very far. I don't really... Oh my god, it does. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, can I? I just don't want to die here. I'm going to try and break this with my fist because I don't want to waste a piece of wood. That sounds so dumb. There's a skeleton right there, but uh, that was me going to try and ping it as well. Oh my god, Apex Legends, guys. If you haven't seen the Apex Legends videos, I, I do recommend checking them out. They're a lot of fun to make. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started here and just get like a little situated in the. I'll get situated a little bit in the, in the side of the. the the cave, right here, I think is a good shout. So, uh, yeah, we're going for it. We're going to make a, a wooden pickaxe. First thing you want to do, guys, get a, get a tool going. Um, in this case, it's a wooden pickaxe. And, um, yeah, sort of uh, get ready and get in. Um, because there's a skeleton right there, we are going to also make ourselves a sword uh, straight away. Um, you don't really, I mean, getting, getting a sword ready straight away is always a good shout. If there's not mobs around, just I would just go straight for the house. But uh, it's always a good shout if... Uh, if need be, if you're going to get to night time soon. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to go for a um, a little bit of a stone pickaxe. So, we can chuck this guy away. I don't need him anymore. It didn't go very far. He's probably going to come back to us. I wouldn't be surprised if we get that back. There you go. I don't want you back. Uh, and then, let's go and get this iron. God, I'm so used to playing Apex. I'm, like, crouching. I'm jittering. God, guys. What are we ever doing? But, yeah, there we go. Um, so, let's get stuck in. Let's get into this place. Uh, get a little bit of a house going here. That's the goal. Um, nice bit of iron, which is always useful. I do find that handy. So, uh, I'm very grateful to be finding this iron here. This is good. This is going to help us out. Um, and then just make a little bit of a house. A little bit of a, uh, an area to call home. You can definitely hear that skelly. He's, um, 
you know, let's get let's sort this inventory out a little bit. There you go. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely near. He's definitely below us, like right below us. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but I'm just hollowing out this area. We are going to go and um, and get some more trees because obviously what we've got wood wise at the moment is not enough. Uh, let's get a, t a timer going so we don't overrun this episode massively. Um, why well, don't let me start a timer? Stopwatch. That's why we. There we go. Get a stopwatch going so we can sort of keep an eye on how long this episode's been going for. And we're sort of going to go for about 20 minute episodes. I think that's a good shout. Like right in the middle, 20, 25. Um, yeah. Anywhere from anywhere in that sort of range is a good shout. But let's go and get some more trees. So uh, uh, we would probably be uh, or benefit from some from an axe. Let's make two axes. You want to try and get as many trees as you can. Like that's always a good shout uh, straight away. So yeah. Uh, then you don't have to keep coming back to things, which is always good. Uh, and luckily, we've got a heck load of trees there. As long as we're not falling down, that's uh, that's that's not a good thing to do. Squid sack. Well, it's actually an ink sack, but uh. Squids is what they come from, so we're going to call them squid sacks, because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, let's get some trees. Let's get some trees going. You'd think I've had caffeine speaking like this, but this is just... I'm just a talkative guy. I think I wear people out. I think that's a thing I do. Uh, but, um, I mean, yeah. Keeps people interactive, I think, talking. So, uh... Yeah, um, if you're uh, if you're looking forward to uh, the series, guys, do put a comment down below. Let me know what you really want to see. So what your uh, what your main thing is. If you're struggling with anything in particular, or you want to see any kind of things be done, um, do put a message down below because I would like to hear it. Um, yeah, hopefully we just have some fun. I've got a lot of modded series coming up um, that I plan to do. So uh, we're going to be revisiting some old mod packs like FTB Monster and things like that because they would be really fun. Um, FTB Infinity Evolve Skyblock because that's what started this channel off. I've been doing YouTube now since 2011, guys. So, uh, yeah, but that's what started this channel off. Um, I have another channel that has 300 subscribers um, and another one that has like 80. Um, yeah, I don't know why I hop from channel to channel, but I used to when I was a kid. Bit of a weird weird thing to do, but there we go. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, it should be pretty cool, like, um, MC Eternity, or MC Eternal is something we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, just a lot of a lot of mods, really. Is this thing passive, or is it going to kill me? I don't know. Um, but yeah, just a lot of a lot of mods. So, uh, have a nice little playthrough, it'll be fun. Um, so, a lot of more packs coming up, which is always good. So there's the village over there, that is, that is nice. We shall go and visit that village in a second. Because uh, if we can't find sheep, the village is a good place to find wool. Right, I can always come back to this. I'm, I do want some saplings, so uh, we will come back to that. Obviously, food is a little bit of a problem. We've already got uh, four haunch haunches. Is that what they're called? Haunches? Four meat haunches? I'm not sure. Um, four meat sticks missing. Four drumsticks, if we're going to call them drumsticks. Um, so, yeah. We do need some more food. I didn't know villagers farm. Well, that's interesting. That's actually useful. Obviously, I'm not going to go and kill them. That is a barrel. I have never seen that before in my life, but I'm going to nick it. See, this is what I mean, guys. This is why we're learning together. Because I've never seen a barrel before in my life. Uh, so, yeah. We are going to kill these sheep. I'm sorry, sheep. Um, I would want to make shears, but... I didn't know even... Like, these sheep must have been fed by the villagers. That's mad. Um, but, yeah, there we go. We've got enough to make a bed. So, I'm not going to go and kill anymore. I'm not a violent person, I promise. Um, got donkeys here. Got pigs. Hey, this is when the villagers become cool. Like, what? You guys are farming. These guys are... Let's have some knowledge. Oh, mate, yeah, we're going to take all these hay bales. I mean, actually, no, I am going to take them. I don't really care about this. Like, the village looking cool is, is cool, but, like, I need food, so... I'm afraid your boy comes first. I'm going to take all your hay bales. Um, yeah, so let's get all of these. Uh, hitting them with an axe doesn't make them go faster, so no point wasting durability. Um, and then I would like to look for the village farm because if we can get that we can get some wheat going get some seeds going grow some crops Eat some stuff and um, we'll be uh, much better off with a full belly. So that's the that's the aim there. We are running low on meat So the village farm would be great about any time now They have got an iron golem here to protect them, which is good We might I mean we could call this place a home. The problem is is I don't want to attract um Oh, look, there's loads of stuff in here. Yeah, I don't want to attract zombies to this village. Because uh, I don't really want all of the villagers to die. Um, so, that's a thing. But we've got a lot of hay bales. We're going to get some more, because it is uh, still daytime. Um, and then we're going to run home. Um, we should have enough, like, hay bale to feed us for a while, which will be good. 
Um, I don't find, I don't think there's any village farms here. It's a bit suckish. Maybe this is just a farming, like an animal husbandry village. Maybe not, it's not a farming village. I didn't know that was a thing now, but okay. Um, so yeah. But we're going to get the rest of these, go home, uh, put on the fire, kick our feet up, and uh, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> going to go mining. Mining is a good thing. It's one of the things we want to do first. Um, I mean, get food sorted and mining is the main thing. Oh my god, there's an ocelot. Or is it a cat? I don't know. Yeah, um, like mining is a big thing. So that's one thing you want to get going. Uh, I'm going to walk home uh, slowly because I, I want to. Um, in fact, let's... Oh, I don't want to kill these pigs. Like, I don't want to kill any animals, to be honest with you. I'm not, I don't like killing things unless I'm farming them. Yeah, it's a thing. Um, we should be home before it turns dark. So that's something good. Um, how many saplings have we got? We only got two. Uh, I'm going to run through where our trees were. Uh, oh, we have got some mutton, actually. Let's eat raw mutton. At least then we can sprint. Because uh, otherwise, it's going to take us years to get home. Didn't you realise I had that? Sorry, guys. You've just been uh, painstakingly watching me run very slowly. Oh, apples as well. Well, then. And trees drop sticks, which is uh, new to me. So there we go. Um, right, here we are. I'll have you back, crafting table, and we will now venture inside my hovel. Uh, we're going to put you back down in here, and the first thing you want to do, guys, as you probably imagine, is get a door. Uh, but we're not going to bother with a wooden door. No, nope, because that can be broken down, so there's no point starting with rubbish stuff. That's going to do six. There we go. Get that going. Uh, we also want to uh, make another furnace. And uh, put that there, and... Uh, cook up the rest of this in fact no we're gonna do some wood gonna do some wood peoples uh i don't want the birch really so i'm happy just to use that as uh as fuel there we go let's get some charcoal going charcoal is going to be dead useful i don't want all of that cooked up i mean nine is enough to start off uh so let's get that going okay there we go right we've got the first first little ebbs of charcoal so what we're going to do is we're going to stick some torches down here just to light up our little uh this the area where we're going to live. Um, that's sort of uh, the main thing, just to light up this rough area. So that mobs don't spawn directly on top of us. Alright, there we go. So that's a good little start. We want to get some uh, some more iron here for a door. That's going to be a pretty uh, pretty big thing that we need. But uh got to wait for that to go. So, uh, yep, that's a thing. Uh, there we go. So we've got that. Have we got any more? We've got enough wood for that. Let's chuck that in and get that going. Right, let's get a door going. And we actually need some stone to do that. So let's get some more of this. Uh, the reason why is because obviously we need to put a stone door down. But that can only be operated by redstone signal. So uh, we need a uh, pressure plate. And a button. So hopefully we're learning stuff here, guys. We're just going to make it a nice little hovel. Um, obviously zombies can... Uh, sorry, I'm not really explaining things very well. So zombies can, um, can hit down wooden doors. So the reason why you want to... Uh, you want to get some stuff going. Um, you want to get some iron doors. Is so the zombies can't break stuff. So yeah. Um, you're going to want a few pieces of this. I might as well just do six. Let it go. Um, and uh, that should be good. So while we are waiting uh, for one. We can just sort of uh, hop around and do nothing. Um, I'm going to chuck my mutton in there. Because uh, cooked mutton gives you a lot more food restoration than normal. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, and let's put down this iron door. Now you need uh, a red it to be redstone operated. Um... We're going to run in here because now that skeleton can't come after me. So, bye, scaly welly. Get stuck outside, my G. Uh, right, let's eat some mutton. So, we could obviously go out and kill him. I probably will in a minute. But um, I need to... Uh, yeah, I need some. Uh, I need to be more food restored until when, when, when I do that. So, that's, uh, that's a thing. There we go. We are full, which is nice. That is definitely very useful. Um, obviously, scaly is still out here. Uh, so iron wise what do we got we got five iron I kind of want to keep it for a chest plate uh, a chest plate is much better for you than uh, anything else uh, then it goes leggings then uh, I think it's helmet then boots so you do want to uh, you do want to save up your iron for a chest plate I mean you don't have to like if you're in a survival situation obviously you would go straight for the helmet um, but uh, because I had time there I went for the chest plate first um, right, so we've got enough stuff to make some more torches, which is good. I like having two there, so I'm going to do two. Um, but there we go. So a nice little start, guys. We've got a nice little uh, start to home going, which is always good. Um, I'm actually going to immediately break these after placing them. 
um, and get them down there. And uh, then we'll just expand this out a little bit. And hopefully now we're going to go and get some uh, some uh, ores deep in the ground, which would be good. Get some armor going. That will help us survive a lot better. Um, we're going to use that to get the stone going. Uh, I want, want to make it match up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's use that up. Uh, we might as well put our little, uh, little guy down here for stuff we don't want. I think it should... I kind of like it like that. I mean, I know it's not meant to be like that. But uh, I'm going to keep it like that. It's kind of cool. Um, so, we want to make a bed. A bed is a... A bed is a thing we definitely want to do. Uh, so, let's get a bed going. Uh, we can sleep through the night. And then we can uh, start some farming. Uh, which I think will be quite a good thing for us right now. So, let's get a sleep going. Uh, we got some advancements, which is good. Getting, uh, getting all this stuff going, which is nice. Uh, so, in terms of advancements, what we got? We got Stone Age. So, that's making... Uh, mine some stone. Uh, contract to make pickaxe, acquire hardware, monster hunter, and sweet dreams, which is sleeping. So yeah, pretty good. Um, we've got some mobs dying all around us. I mean, actually, got some fish. Oh my god, I have never seen this before. So I have seen this once. Uh, I know they give you salmon because these are apparently salmon. So we are going to kill them. Uh, very violent, I know, but they are going to respawn. Uh, so we can just farm some fish here. And now we have some food going. So that is going to help us a lot. So that is always good. Um, what I would like to do is immediately chuck my fish into here and get them going. Awesome. So while that's going, um, we kind of want to go in here and make uh, a hoe. Um, so we can do some farming. Uh, farming is a pretty main thing. Obviously, it's a good way of us generating some uh, some uh, stuff for some food. So that's kind of a goal here. We do need some stone. I mean, you don't need stone, but I want to make stone a stone hoe, not a normal one. I'd be much better off doing that. So, yeah, let's make a stone hoe. Just like that. There we go. Um, so, um, in terms of crops, guys, as this is obviously a let's play for beginners, uh, to teach people how to do it. Um, so, you've got, obviously, wooden tools, stone tools, iron tools, uh, gold tools, really, and uh, diamond tools. So, in terms of which ones are best, um, you've got your... Um, I had loads of creep here. Two seconds. Uh, so, your wooden tools are the worst, like with the worst durability stuff. Um, then it's, uh, I think it might even be gold after that. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and then you've got iron. The reason why gold is good is because it has a high, um, enchantment rate. So it's easy, much easier to enchant, um, than any other materials. So, um, that's why you want to use gold, really. And that's why it's in there. Uh, stone is, um, next up after wood and gold. Uh, then you've got iron, then diamonds, and then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So that's your, uh, that's your durability sort of thing. So that's how you want to go, go about that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm making a stone one, because it's not the worst, but it's no, obviously not the really best, but it's not the worst. Uh, so we're going to get going with the crop farm. Um, I don't know if you can turn wheat into seeds. You cannot. That is a modded recipe, right? So we're going to have to break some grass. Uh, you get seeds from breaking grass, guys, as I've just uh, shown you. Now, when you're growing crops, um, there's no really order you want to grow them in. I normally do it like a seven, sort of seven by seven square. Um, well... I'll, show, I'll explain to you how I do it, so I'll show you. So, effectively, um, you want a 7x7 seven seven away from the centre block. The reason why is it's water, uh, which will hydrate your soil, will make your crop, your crop grow faster. Um, so, if you put water down, uh, the water spreads in a 7x7 seven seven range. So, you want to put your crops um, up to 7 blocks away so they stay hydrated and grow quicker. That's the main reason why you want to do that. Um, so, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to put that upstairs. I would obviously like to fence it off. Um, I just don't have a lot of wood yet, so I'm not sure which one fences. I think this is fence gates. Yeah, so I wouldn't really want to make it out of birch, because I don't really like birch a lot. It's not my friend. It's not my favourite. <laughs> so uh, there's, a, there's a fence gate. Um, and then if we get that all into planks, wooden planks and sticks, uh, let's sort of make a good nice amount of sticks and then let's do it like that and like that that should make us a decent amount of fences um i'm not i don't think that's enough anywhere near enough for a farm to be honest with you maybe let's make it all in in thingies but it, it might give us enough to start it i'm not sure so we'll have a look um but yeah let's go and uh get this started why i went back in here uh was i wanted to get some iron out now the reason why is we're gonna make a bucket uh obviously so we can transport some water uh, and then we can put that on our farm and it will hydrate the soil. So that's how we're going to get food uh, sort of automated. Not really automated, but uh, 
So how am I going to get food growing? How am I going to get a farm going? Uh, we're going to put it just up here. And we're sort of going to put the grass block, or the water block, sorry, about here-ish. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, it's all hydrated all the way up to there. Four, five, six, seven. And it will stay hydrated to that length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you just want to connect the dots, basically. Get rid of all these, uh, all these stuff, all this stuff in our way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you can see, uh, when it turns darker, that means it's been hydrated. Uh, all of this will hydrate. It will just take some time. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. So, uh, this should all hydrate itself up eventually. Um, it will sort of do this and go back to normal um, until it's all hydrated. But eventually it will get there. And um, we will have a nice little farm going, which will be good. Uh, so we don't even ha we don't actually have enough crops to fill it right now. All this is you can see it in my inventory. I've only got 15 seeds, but um, it's better starting than not starting. So as you can see, the hydrated soil is spreading. It is going. Um, and let's just get these seeds sort of placed down to start with. And our hoe has broken because we've obviously used it a lot. Um, and we can just let this soil spread now. Really, let the hydration spread is the goal. Um, so we might as well get some more seeds, spend a little bit of the day just uh, chucking, uh, chucking down some grass. Um, and that should be good. So we're going for a crop farm. Crop farm will give us the food we need, which is nice. It'll also give us wheat so we can attract uh, sheep and uh, cows, which will be useful. So we can get some, uh, some animals going. So we can get some, uh, a balanced diet with meat in it, which will be good. Um, obviously, it's a very big debate whether you actually need meat in your diet, but uh, we're not going into that. It's not politics. It's not... Uh, this isn't a debate, it's not biology, it is uh, a video game. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, let's just get as many seeds as we can uh, while it's light. Obviously these are going to help us uh, grow some food, which will be nice. So yeah. 20 seeds, which is good. Uh, we would like, obviously, a lot more. We need, I don't know how many we need. 7x7, 7 7x7, 7, 7 49. So 49 seeds is what we need, I think, to fill it up. I would assume. Uh, no, it's more than that. It's way more than that. Because it's 14 by 14, isn't it? Uh, so, 168, probably. Something like that. I don't really know. Uh, 12 times 12 is 144. So, 4 times 4 is 16. So, 144. Yeah, it's 144, is it? What is 16 by... Uh, 14 by 14? 196. I was way wrong. 196 seeds we need, guys. So, that's uh, a little over three stacks. So, we do need a fair few. Um, but that's fine. We can just stay here getting as many as we can. And, uh, it should be good. So, yeah, that's the plans. That's the plan, Stan. That's the plan, Stanny. So, yeah, let's, uh, get that going. Um, obviously, food is a really big thing you do need to start with. Um, because if you don't get, obviously, food sorted quickly, you will run out of food. And it will become a problem and you'll have to kill fish for the whole of your life. Which does get tedious, guys. Uh, I've done it before. <laughs> I did start a little series with my sister. It didn't um, go anywhere, really. But, um, yeah, that's what we did at the start of that. We just killed fish for ages. And uh, it got very tedious because we didn't build a farm straight away, which we definitely should have done. And we didn't find a village with hay bales, um, which is kind of a godsend that we found that because that's definitely going to help out. But, yeah. Um, so let's just get as many of these as we can until night comes. Uh, how many are we on? 47? I mean, that's a good start. Definitely pretty good. I kind of want to go back and plant these now. See, as you can see, because we've been doing work, so when you actually do, when you're moving around a lot and you're sprinting and you're fighting and that kind of thing, it makes your hunger go down much quicker. Um, so that's a thing to watch out for. Um, because obviously we've been hitting a lot of grass and breaking a lot of blocks. That's what it is. Uh, that's why our hunger's gone down quite rapidly. Um, but it's all right because we can always uh, make some bread. I don't think, I think this is also a modded recipe. It is. You can't make bread. No bread for you guys. Uh, so, yeah. Let's eat this stuff. Get this going um, in our tummy. So we've got something to uh, something to eat on and increase our, hung our uh, health again. So if you don't eat, guys, your health will go down and you will it will not regen. So you do want to constantly eat. Right, that, that, that obviously is dependent on what mode you're on. We're on normal mode. Um, so, yeah. Normal mode. Uh, there's, there's a couple of modes. So you've got peaceful, easy, normal, hard, and uh, hardcore. Um, I think it's called hardcore. Is it called expert? Oh, you can't. You have to set the mode into it. But yeah, uh, you have got like a hardcore mode or an expert mode or something, uh, and that means when you die, you don't respawn. 
um, which is, is cool, but it's also annoying, because obviously if you've worked hard on the game, you're dead. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, easy mode, obviously, is much easier. Me, like, uh, then you've got thingy hard and whatever. So, yeah. Obviously, they get harder going on. That's that's the thing of them. So, yeah. Um, but we are going to go and plant these crops, because it is still daytime. So, in terms of the sun, guys, uh, the sun will rise that side and set that side. As you can see, it's going down very slowly. Um, and that's how the, the sun works. So, yeah. Um, obviously, you want to watch it. You can sort of tell what time it is by looking at it. Uh, you can make a clock later on. But, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit later on to make that. So, uh, yeah, you can do it if you want to really know uh, how long you've got left of the day. But uh, it's not a necessary thing. So, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, it's already getting dark. I'm just going to uh, sort of hoe this lot so hopefully it can get hydrated. And then we're going to go down and go and have a little bit of a rest. In fact, let's just get these planted before we go back inside. It's not fully dark yet. It's not... It's not to the stage where we're going to die instantly. There we go. But yeah. So that's quite a lot of wheat planted. So that should uh, should definitely be enough to start us off and keep us going. Obviously, we do want to keep... Uh, we do want to stop jumping down there because it will kill us if we keep doing it. Uh, but yeah. So this barrel is going to be good for storage for some of our stuff. Uh, I will make like a storage system so we can sort it all out. Uh, but at the moment, this is where we're going to keep all our stuff. So yeah. Now we want to get mining, really. So we've got a nice little, uh, nice little sized house. I am going to expand this a little bit, uh, so we've got some, uh, some space to play with. Um, but yeah, um, we are going to actually end the episode here, guys. Um, we're running at twenty, so about well, I know, about twenty-eight, twenty-three minutes this. Uh, so we are going to call it an episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, do hit the like button, subscribe. I hope you've learned some stuff, and this is sort of a. Uh, uh, brought you into the world of Minecraft, which is uh, the aim of this. It is a series for beginners, so hopefully it's helped you guys out. If it has, do leave a like button. Uh, do hit the like button, subscribe, it does help out. And uh, hopefully we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a good time, and uh, yeah, peace out.